a face which is intact for good 11 hours. Incredible. Hi guys! So this is going to be a very simple, easy, quick get ready with me. So today I'm going to be using a few new products which I've got my hands on recently. And whenever I am doing my everyday makeup, I'm sorry I'm looking here because my mirror is here. So whenever I'm doing my everyday makeup, what I keep in mind is I just want it to be long lasting and enough that just my skin looks even all i am focusing on in here is just even out the complexion get some depth get some glow get some definition on the brows and the eyes that's all so as you all see i just primed my skin with the makeup forever skin boost and now i am just using this beauty blender what do you call this primer just around where I have a little bit of big pores. You know, whenever, even I'm not wearing any makeup, I love to use some sort of primer, you know? That way your skin looks like poreless, even. I like it. I really like it. Some people do not use primers, but I would emphasize enough to use primers. So. This is, I am very excited about, this is the Dior Forever Summer Skin. I got it in the shade medium, but there are not enough shade range in this. So this is a 24 hour healthy glow fresh tint. This has got a little bit more pigmentation, I would say, rather than skin tints, which is generally available in the market. So this foundation, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, this has added a very beautiful glow and it does not feel heavy or tacky on my skin and it says it's really long wearing but the best thing that I am liking about this is it is so lightweight and it's glowy, it has even my skin tone and if it lasts for as long as it says, this is a win-win and the shade match is actually not bad. It's actually good. All right, now that the skin is looking somewhat even, but I want to add a little bit of concealer, not too much. I'm using the Too Faced Bond this way. I will just add it in here. Just enough to cover the under eye bags. So I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows a little bit. Nothing very structured, but just to fill in the spots area on my brows. Just like that. I'm really sorry about this lighting, you guys. Today, the weather is in a very funky mood. Just like I happen to be sometimes. And now I am very, very, very excited about this product. This is by Natasha Denona. This is the bronze cheek palette. And it looks like this. If you have seen my last video where I've shown you what I have recently got. So today I'm gonna try it on with you all on camera. So first I'm using this with this sponge. And it has a very light pinkish undertone in it. Maybe I will try it with my finger. Yeah, that's better. Cream products always works better with your fingers. Oh, you're pretty. I'm gonna go with the second product in here. It is the Bounce Cream Blush. This also feels really light and I am going to place it where I would place my bronzer 
just a little higher than that because oh it does show actually maybe I should try this with my what do you call this <laughs> sponge if I'm trying it with my sponge oh it actually shows up but it's very glowy so I wouldn't drag it all the way on my cheeks I would place it just here or oh, you are very pretty the camera is not picking it up so the bronzer in here it's too glowy for my choice but maybe I would add it as a bronzer topper so as my regular bronzer I'm gonna use my Dior nude skin bronzer I would I'm really intrigued to try this highlight but I have another highlight as well which I want to try before. but first I want to try this so I am gonna take it with a brush apply it just here oh oh okay this is gorgeous beautiful what is this funky lighting today? I'll just take a hint of that bronze shade, glowy one, and just apply it here as I'm not applying any blush today. And this would be a beautiful eyeshadow, you guys. I am just going to add a little bit more blush because I love blushy face. I wanted to use a creamy one, but I don't feel like using that today. So I'm gonna use this powder one. This is my MAC, this is Peaches. And this is a matte blush, so it's gonna balance out all the shimmers that we have put on our cheeks. Oh, this is such a pretty color. For my eyes, I don't have anything really anything on a daily basis. I'm just gonna take some bronzer and run it over my crease just to add a little bit of depth and some color. That is all I do. So there's one thing that I do which I'm gonna share with you. It's a trick and it ties your whole look so beautifully. That is take your blush and apply it on your crease too just like that so it ties with your blush your eyes and everything looks so pretty most of you have to think about what eyeshadow am i gonna wear when you are not wasting any time thinking about any of those and now i'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner for this i'm gonna use this today is left now to be done is mascara. Today I'm using a different mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. I really like this when I do not want very dramatic lashes. Just separates the lens, adds volume, but not too dramatic. Like I like. I love dramatic lashes. I just remembered I completely forgot to set my concealers. And now for my lips, I am not even gonna line them because on every day basis, I don't even bother doing that. And in which we are gonna wear a mask, so it's all right. I'm just gonna add this lip oil, which I also showed you in my last video, which I got from Lux Tan. This is the delicious lip oil shine and hydration it's a 
and I cannot go without setting my face of course. That is the finished look. Very, very simple, quick, put together, makes you look like ready for the day. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this mini tutorial with me. Until next time. Hi guys. So it has been a good 10, 11 hours that I have been wearing this foundation and look at my skin does it even look like that i have not even touched up done anything taking a good nap had my dinner all the evening i have been touching my face sitting like this so like literally nothing happened nothing happened wow it did not even settle in my fine lines I'm in love with this thing, yeah. So I am gonna wear this for the next week onwards and I'm gonna report back to you on my Instagram channel. If you guys are not following, make sure you do, where on my stories I do share the small tips and tricks. So it's time for me to wash this face off and head bed.